Jesus is the answer for the world today. Good morning, everyone. Pastor Esther here. This morning, we're going to continue learning about what the Word of God has to say about stewardship, which is the careful management of what has been given to one. So we understand that our life, the totality of all things in our lives, they really don't belong to us because they've been given to us by God. And God has given it to us for us to manage it well, for us to make sure that um, we are basically organizing and conducting our lives in a manner that brings him honor and glory, in a manner that is consistent with his word of God, in a manner that is consistent with what he has dictated for us to do, how to live. Um, So this morning, we're going to learn about another aspect of our lives as followers of Jesus Christ that we have been a call to steward well. So in Matthew chapter 28, verse 16 to 20, this is what it says. It says the 11 disciples traveled to Galilee to the mountain where Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshiped, but some doubted. Then Jesus came near and said to them, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go Therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. So this passage of scripture is commonly referred to as the Great Commission, right? The Great Commission is really... Um, the, the missional aspect, um, the, the calling out of what it is as believers, we are called to do fundamentally. Yes, we are called to live for God and bring glory and honor to his name. Yes, we are called to continue to maintain and, and grow and, um, establish fellowship and relationship, Um, with the Lord Jesus Christ or really grow our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, And then really, thirdly, we are called to spread the gospel. The Great Commission is really Jesus giving us our mission and purpose on this earth. And that is that wherever we are, no matter where we find ourselves in lives, we are to make disciples of all nations, meaning that we are to share the gospel with all peoples from all backgrounds, whether young and old, male or female, um, whether they look like us or don't look like us, whether they have a similar background and upbringing than us or a different one, we are to share the gospel with everyone. And it doesn't stop there. It says that we should go on then in making disciples of all nations, that they should be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and moreover, teaching them to observe everything that he has commanded. So I want to encourage us uh, this morning to really have this mind be in us as we live our daily lives. And that is today, how can I share the gospel? You know, um, the life we live should speak of the grace and truth that we have found in salvation in Christ Jesus. Um, I'm reminded of Philippians chapter two that says to walk, work, excuse me, out your salvation with fear and trembling. And really that passage of scripture is calling us to really live out with great um, reverence the salvation that we have been given, the grace and truth that we have come in contact with through the Lord Jesus Christ should be poured out of our lives daily in what we do, in where we go, in how we do, in what we say, in the decisions that we make. And really, we ought to be about the Father's work, and that is spreading the gospel. So I want to encourage you this morning that One, if you don't fully understand what the gospel is, to take every single opportunity given to you to go and learn it, to understand it, to eat it up. 
Um, and really for us to be intentional about spreading the gospel, there's so many things we can do. One of which is um, inviting people to church, um, giving out tracts, um, sharing, talking with people when um, your church, your local church has evangelical outreach moments to be a part of this because this is a call that every single believer has. And part of how we steward spreading the gospel well is really by doing it. Um, and by doing it well, um, meaning that we come like Jesus came, the Bible says in John chapter one, that he came in grace and truth. So this morning, um, I want to remind us that every single believer has the responsibility to share the gospel, to share the reason for the hope that we have. Um, and this world is hungry for it. Um, Jesus said, you know, um, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. And part of the reason I believe the laborers are few is because so many of us have forgotten that we are all responsible or we have all been given this duty and God expects us to steward well. So for some of us, God has called us to win the tens, some of us the thirties and the fifties, some of us the hundreds, but we will never walk in stewarding this well if we don't start making every effort to share Jesus. So again, just remember that the confidence that we have to do this is um, really the latter portion of verse 20 in Matthew 28, where Jesus says, and remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Um, this work that we have been given, um, we don't do it by ourselves. Jesus tells us in John 16, um, and really from John 14, that he's going to send us a helper, a teacher, a comforter, the Holy Spirit who empowers us to be bold. Um, when we think back to the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit fell, the apostle Peter boldly proclaimed the gospel and 3,000 people were added to the church. Um, that same boldness that the apostle Peter has is available to each and every single one of us uh, through the Holy Spirit. Um, and maybe we're not going to stand in front of 3,000 people, but the boldness and the courage to speak to a neighbor, to share with a friend, to speak to a family member, to talk to a coworker, to go up to a stranger. So I want to encourage us to make it a point in our lives to daily ask the question or really ask God for the opportunity to share Jesus with someone, whether it's a quick word, whether it's an action, whether it's the opportunity to pray. Um, I believe that when we do this, because this is God's will for us, he will surely answer. So again, remember, you and I have been commissioned to spread the gospel and we need to steward this well by being obedient to the word of God and doing it. God bless you.